Cheers. I'm just mixing wine and a hot glue gun. What could possibly go wrong? Hi everybody, I'm Amanda the G, and it's time to get crafty. Today, I am finally using all of these wine corks that I have been saving up forever. I saw how to make a trivet online using wine corks. Most of them used a kit that was really expensive and I wasn't willing to pay for that. So I went to the store and got a box and I have my hot glue gun going. So if you want to do this project for some reason, that's what you'll need. And then you're just going to have to figure it out from there from what mistakes you made. My first mistake was buying a really freaking thick box. My other m mistake is that the vast majority of my corks are not actually wine corks. They are beer corks. So these are all going to stand up and then I'm going to make a pattern with it. Because I love patterns. Love patterns. Ooh, this is going to be a super fun project. Okay, I'm hoping that at the end of this it's actually a trivet and it works. Uh, it's not hot enough. I don't suggest doing what I just did at home. I just grabbed the metal tip with my finger to see if it was hot enough. You're probably not supposed to do that. So while you're waiting for this stupid thing to heat up, drink more wine. This is not my preferred glue gun. This is the glue gun that I'm using for this because it's designed for children so that they don't hurt themselves. And I figured it was probably better if I did this because I hurt myself on tools somehow. So our glue gun is ready. Um, shoot, I did not plan this well. I don't have my workspace. So basically what I think I have to do here is just what I'm going to go with, which is squirt a shit ton of glue, stick it down. We're going to go with that. So the problem with hot glue is it makes those little stupid strands. So I have a feeling this is going to piss me off pretty soon. So if you actually buy the kit, I think all you have to do is just take the corks and just shove them in the kit, and then you're done. And I don't think you have to deal with glue or with anything else, really. So if you have extra money and you want to do this, maybe buy the kit. But this is a good 85% less cost than the kit. So what I've done so far is I've made a line on the top of these uh, sparkling wine corks, because let's be serious, it's not actually champagne, I don't have that kind of money. I've been saving these corks for so long, and there's just a whole bunch of corks, and I really did not realize that, by and large, they would be beer corks. I feel like this is more like... me. Okay. I'm pretty proud of myself, but to this point, I have yet to hurt myself. Damn it. This string is like everywhere. Somebody's got to make a hot glue gun that doesn't have all these, fuck, all these damn strings attached to it. Get on that science. And I'm not really intentionally doing it, but I've noticed on the bottom of every single one of these, I'm writing the letter G. Bull crap. Stop being stupid. So today when we're being classy with wine, I have a dress on. It's a dress. I got pockets in it again. Pockets are the best things ever. Everyone who makes dresses put pockets in every single one. They are awesome. So girl pants and girl clothes in general don't really have pockets that you can use. Designers, you need to start putting functional pockets into girls clothing because I can barely fit anything in my pockets if I even have them. You cannot fit a smartphone into a pocket. That's ridiculous. I don't want to carry a purse. They're obnoxious. Everywhere you go, you have to grab something else that's not on you and put it on your shoulder. It is so easy for somebody to come by and just swipe it, so you got to be constantly like holding on to the damn thing. And if you don't hold on to it, sometimes when you're walking, it'll slide off your shoulder and just like fall down. I don't want to carry a damn purse. I want to be able to shove whatever shit I need into my pockets and go. I guess we'll get back to this stupid uh, glue gun. Okay. Ow. Alright, now the glue gun is actually starting to get kind of hot, like, along the top. Um, ow. This whole part is hot. They don't really 
really know how to avoid the hot part. Ow. Stop being hot. Damn. Fucking strings. Now I've got all of my beer corks in. A little grid that's not exactly perfect, but shut up, it's fucking perfect. All right, we're near the end. Oh. I thought that said blizzle. B-L-Z-Z-O, and I realized I was looking at it upside down, and it's numbers, zero, two, two, one, zero. It's like, why does it say Bzzol? I'm special. I embrace it. I'm weird. But when I was younger, I had a problem with being called weird, and one of my friends in elementary school told me that I was the only normal person that he knew, and therefore that made me weird. This specific cork is the only one in here that I did not personally partake in. It's the one that goes right here in the corner, and it's also the only one that has to go upside down. Damn it. Shit. Crap. Fuck. Crap. Oh, motherfucking bullfucking shit. Bullshit. Bullshit fucker. Okay. That was a lot of expletives. I hope I'm not showing too much boob. Damn, I there's a stupid string here. We're gonna put our last piece in. I'm putting a bunch of glue on this one because I kind of have to like shove it in really hard. And I want to make sure that it actually like reaches the bottom. So push that in. I have reached the end and I did not burn myself. You can put shit on top of it. Granted, it's supposed to be hot shit, but this is shit, and it works. Whatever. Sometimes the wine kicks your ass. Okay. I think this looks pretty fucking awesome, particularly for doing it when I've been drinking. Please let me know what you think about this trivet in the comments below, and also let me know what crafts you would like me to do in the future. If you liked this video, please click the like button and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. All my love. Mwah. This wine is kicking my ass. I think I need to take a nap.